with a new centerpiece DIY, then you can, of course, modify it to your own liking. First things first, supplies. You'll need three small pieces of styrofoam, some plastic spoons, preferably white, along with some pearls, crystals, ballpoint pens, and clear nylon thread, a tall candle stand, and three small round vases, along with some flowers of different shades and styles, three small LED candles, gold spray paint, and a glue gun with glue sticks, nail file and buffer, an X-Acto knife or scissors. So to start off, take one of the plastic spoons and you want to break off the handle part so you're left with just a round piece. In order to easily break it, with one hand hold down the round part of the spoon and with the other hand add pressure down the neck but pull upwards at the same time. It will then easily snap and break the handle part so you're left with just a round piece of the spoon. Now the bottom part will be very rough. Take a nail file and file down the bottom as smooth as you can. Just to compare, you want to end up with something like the one on the right, removing the pointy and jagged edge with the nail file. Now, sometimes when you break off the handle part, it does cause the spoon to split, but don't worry, they'll work just as fine. All you have to worry about is just filing the bottom just like normal. Then once you're done with that, on the bottom end, add a bit of glue and let it dry. This will help the glue stick easier later on. Now moving on to the glass vases, we need to spray a bit of the plastic clear gloss. Although it says gloss, we need to add a bit of texture to the glass so the glue can stick better to it. Once it's dry, with the nail file, start buffing the glass to add even more texture. Then turn your vase upside down and re-add some of the glue on top of the dried up glue and paste it along the base. Hold the spoon in place for about 30 seconds, focusing on adding the most pressure where the glue is at. You want the spoon to be lifted just like this. You don't want it to lay flat. Then go ahead and continue doing the same all around. When you're done with the bottom row, you can go ahead and flip it back upwards and continue on to the middle row. I like to start off in between two of the spoons and continue all the way around. Now you might run into this issue where the last spoon just doesn't fit. Don't worry about it, all you have to do is just cut off some of the spoon and smooth it down the edge with the nail file. And once you're done with that, go ahead and glue it into place and I promise you won't even notice. Now onto the top and final row. And it's all just repetitive from here, so continue doing exactly the same as below until you end up with something like this. Now I know it doesn't look like much right now, but adding some of that gold spray paint really does make it look so much better. Focus on getting the inside of the vase and in between the spoons. I did about two even coats and I let it out to set to dry. In the meantime, let's move on to the rest. The middle piece is a candle stand, so take the candle stand and place it in the middle of the styrofoam and with an X-Acto knife or scissors, whatever you have in hand, trace out the outline. Once you have the outline in place, taking a pair of scissors is actually much more helpful. Start digging into it about halfway in. Then go ahead and take the candle stand and wiggle it into place so it feels nice and snug. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to start poking flowers into the styrofoam, but you don't want the stem to be too long. So to simply adjust the stems, just align the flower on the edge and cut off the stem right before the outline. For a quick tip, some flower stems are not wired, instead they have this little flimsy piece. So simply just snip off some of the wired stem that you were just going to throw out and replace the flimsy stem with the new wired one and again just adjust the length of it. Once all your flowers are adjusted and ready, just start poking them into the styrofoam as you wish, mainly just around the sides. And really, there's no right or wrong way of doing this, it's just however you want to arrange the flowers. Once your flowers are set, add some glue into the cutout and set the candle stand in place. From here, now you can add the flowers to the base to cover it up. Now turn the candle stand upwards correctly and add some hot glue all along the top where there's still styrofoam. Gently take the glass vase and place it on top and press down firmly. Once that's in place, go ahead and adjust some of the flowers along the bottom. Now I wanted to add some decorative hanging pieces, so I took some crystals and pearls and I lined them up in the pattern I want them to hang in. And then I took some of that nylon thread and I looped it through a sewing needle and then I tied it at the end. I made about three knots just to be sure. So now loop it through the first pearl or crystal and repeat that three times. You'll be able to then just tug it and slide it through. Go on to the next one and do exactly the same. Loop it three times and slide it down. Now the point of looping them is so they're still staying in place, but they're easy enough to slide down and adjust. Once you're done with that, go ahead and cut off the needle and tie a knot. Then for the other end, leave about 2 inches of space and wrap the thread around the ballpoint pin and make a knot. And then you'll end up with something like this. I made four in total, two small and two long ones. Now simply just take that ballpoint pin and poke it straight into the styrofoam closest to the edge. And I really like these dangling pieces, I feel like they add more to it. Then very last minute, I decided to add some pearl pins to poke in between the flowers to tie everything in. And all you have to do is just take jewelry wire and loop it through the pearl and form a loop just like this. Then take a pair of pliers and hold it down and start twisting it. Then just cut about 3 inches below and that's it. So I made about 15 per centerpiece and I did have a few crystals as well so I went ahead and did that. Then just go ahead and add it in between randomly throughout the flowers. And there you have it. This really does add that little special detail to make it that much prettier and tie everything in. 
So I showed you how to do the stand and for the other two pieces that are on the side, they're done exactly the same, you just don't have to worry about adding a candle stand. And for that very last detail, go ahead and add those LED lights in to make them glow and flicker. So with that being said, if you really did enjoy this video or found it helpful, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or check me out on Instagram. Other than that, I shall speak to you guys on the next one. Bye guys!